the maritime industry is facing a big challenge to reduce carbon emissions. The International Maritime Organization is making new rules to lower greenhouse gases. It's important to choose the right solution. KR offers expert support to help customers compete in this new era of decarbonization. We can help you make a plan to meet the IMO 2050 goal. Stay on track by getting a survey of your ship's battery system from KR. The battery system is crucial for ships to use clean electric power and store large amounts of electrical energy. It is part of the ship's power system. A battery system is made up of cells which form a battery module. Multiple modules are managed by a sub-BMS and this group of sub-BMS with multiple modules is called a battery pack, which is controlled by the master BMS. The battery system connects the energy management system to the power conversion unit. It is installed in the ship's electric room and helps store more power in a compact space. Safety is a top priority for these systems. For a ship battery system to be safe and reliable, it must go through a type of approval process. This includes reviewing the design, testing the system, and checking the manufacturing plant. The drawing review looks at the materials, structure, and design of the system. The components used in the battery system must be flame retardant and moisture resistant, and the conductive materials must be made of copper, stainless steel, or an equivalent that is safe for use. The components must be secure and not easily damaged. Parts that may be touched by people or need to be inspected must be free of sharp edges. Connections between live parts must be safe and easy to replace or disassemble. The power information must be clearly labeled, and the system must be able to handle high voltage. It must also have a proper protection grade and have a lithium battery electrolyte safety design. The system's design must consider safety issues to ensure proper operation. After the design review, the cell and battery system go through a type test. The manufacturer is responsible for checking the structure and dimensions of the product during the test. The surveyor's approval does not remove this responsibility. If there are any differences between the approved design and the tested product, the manufacturer must inform the classification society. The cell type test includes checks for external short circuits, collision, overcharging, force discharge, and thermal abuse. The type approval test begins with a meeting, followed by the test, and ends with the review of the results. The tests are based on the IEC 62619 standard, but other standards like IEC 62281, UN 38.3 or equivalent can also be used. The battery system type approval requires tests on both of the modules and the system. The type approval tests for the battery system include various checks to ensure that the system is safe and reliable. The tests are conducted in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. Before the test, high voltage is applied between the current carrying parts and between the current carrying parts connected to earth for a high voltage test. Insulation resistance tests are also conducted before and after the high voltage test. 
The safety of a battery system is crucial, and it undergoes various tests to ensure its reliability. The safety function test checks the emergency stop function, alarm, and shutdown function, temperature and voltage control, communication signals, and other safety-related tests. The sensor failure test checks the voltage, temperature, off-gas, smoke detector, and other parameters. The maximum C-rate verification test examines the performance of the battery system by discharging and recharging it to a specified final voltage. The environmental test is done to check the battery's performance under different conditions, following the guidelines in the guidance for approval of manufacturing process and type approval. Finally, the type approval testing can also be done using a mini-rack configuration. Each vessel should undergo a product inspection for the battery system. Product inspection items for battery system include high voltage, insulation resistance test, safety function, a cooling pipe and hose water pressure test, and unlike type approval, the equipment under test is to be the same with the equipment on board. After the battery system has been installed on a vessel, it is time to conduct the installation test. These tests must be done under all operating conditions and the test procedures must be submitted to the Classification Society. The tests after installation will cover the following items, in addition to the tests that are typically done on ships. However, if the Classification Society deems it necessary, more tests or different tests may be required. During the installation inspection, it is important to check if the fire protection and extinguishing, cooling, monitoring, and safety systems have been properly installed and are in accordance with the guidelines set forth in Sections 4, 5, and 6 of the Guidance for Battery Systems on Board of Ships. Finally, the battery system and switchboard will be synchronized during the ship trial test to ensure all necessary steps have been completed. We can provide a comprehensive inspection and testing process for your battery system, ensuring its proper function and compliance with industry standards. Our team is dedicated to helping you prepare for a greener future with cutting-edge technology and responsive support. With KR, you can trust that your battery system will be a reliable and efficient power source for your ship.